Hey YouTube, what's going on? Fishy15 here. Got a really cool video for you guys. This is the iOS 4.2 GM, so the Gold Masters, the actual 4.2 firmware for the iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. And I'll be showing you just a few tweaks, overviews, and things that they have done to the iOS 4.1 to make them better on 4.2. So let's get started. So, um... As you can see, the voice memos icon has changed, so now it is a blue icon, as you can see right there. Um, another thing, if you go into settings, um, you scroll down, and you will see a section for notes. That's new. Um, and you can change the font. There's only three fonts, but still, guys, that's pretty cool. So, change the font. And you can also change the default account. So you can change the account, your mail account, for the notes fonts. And that's just pretty cool, guys. Notes fonts for your notes. So as you can see, let's write a note. So, hey, YouTube. Alright, so there's that font. Check it out. And we'll go back to settings. Head down to the notes. And we'll go to marker felt. No respring, no nothing, guys. Marker felt is the actual um, notes fonts, and then there's it, there's three fonts. They're pretty cool, guys. Um, so that's another cool thing they did with it. Um, they did some new things for the mail, but that's mainly for the iPad because it did not have it in the 3.2 firmware. So there's that, and there's also AirPlay, so you can stream music to your iHome or your I dock or any of that stuff. So AirPlay is another cool thing. Um, another thing would have to be the Game Center icons on the App Store. That's pretty cool. So head into the App Store. You can go to, let's say, Fruit Ninja. I know that's a Game Center one. And as you can see right there, it says Game Center. Let's zoom in. And as you can see, it says Game Center. And then there's an icon. So you can tell which apps in the App Store are Game Center accessible so that's pretty cool guys um another thing you can change the contact tones even in the ipod touch fourth generation so i don't have any contacts right now i just updated and haven't restored to a like, earlier point so you just head over to edit and as you can see there's a ringtone so you can set individual ringtones for somebody so you can set that i'll set that for myself just cancel that because I don't really use it but that's pretty cool guys um another thing um this is really neat I um it I remember on like iOS 2.0 so when you double tapped it popped up with the iPod controls with the volume slider and all that good stuff so now that's come back so we'll type we'll just find a song go to Brandon's um let's head over to this song let's turn it down don't want copyright um, so, let's say you're just going around, you double tap for multitasking, scroll over once, and there's your regular iPod controls, music, and orientation lock. You slide over again, you get the volume slider. How cool is that, guys? Volume slider for your iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad in the multitasking. The iPad also has a brightness control down there as well. So, you guys, check that out in the 4.2. Um, so, another cool thing, this is, it allows you to print web pages. I just did a video about this in my earlier video, so check that out. You just click this and click print. I'm not going to do it. Check out my other video. It's really cool, guys. I use it quite a bit now, actually. So, there's print. While I'm in Safari, I will also show you something else. This is find text on your iDevice. So, let's search yeah let's just search ipod and you click don't click search you just scroll down and on this page there are 29 matches you click it find ipod and as you can see it shows the ipod right there you click next it'll show the next one let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that and it highlights it in yellow you just click next and it'll find all the words that say ipod just a cool tweak guys and my absolute favorite tweak they should have did this in like the firmware 3.0 I would say for YouTube they finally did an update for YouTube so 
Um, remember how they used to have like rating videos, one to five stars? Well, now they actually have liking videos. Finally, guys, so. Here you go, and it says like 100% thumbs up. And so if you want to rate, comment, or flag a video, you just hit right there and you can rate or comment. And you click like or dislike and it'll turn green or red. And you click send. And there you go. Um, that is the last uh, new thing in 4.2 I'll be showing you. But if you guys want to check out some more tweaks and things they did on 4.2, just definitely update. There's, there is a jailbreak for this. It's Red Snow. But you have to have the 4.1 iOS downloaded already. And I'll be doing that later. Um, just please rate, comment, subscribe. This is my longest video I'll probably do, guys. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe up there. Follow me on Twitter at Fishy15. And check out my channel for tons of more videos, guys. I really appreciate that. And I will catch you in my next video, guys. Peace.